Thank you. Thank you. I... Oh, you're cheering for him. Well, that's exactly why I've decided to go forward with this Legends initiative. I believe that it's long past time to bring back to the ring the Legends that, along with my genius, help make the WWE what it is today. Many of our younger fans have never seen some of these legends perform, and I... It's Stephanie McMahon! What's the billion-dollar princess doing here on Raw? And what's he doing with her? Oh, Dad, you just don't get it, do you? You're just too old-fashioned to connect with today's WWE fans. Our fans don't want to see a bunch of superstars from 20 years ago. They want to see the best of what WWE has to offer today, such as the champion standing next to me. Stephanie, how dare you come out here and talk to me like that? Have some respect. If not for your own father, then for the history of this business. Oh, I respect history, Dad. And I respect that the old fossil would be history if he got into the ring with the champ here. All right, then, you're on, young lady. Let's start the damn match right now. Did you hear that, King? It's going to be a clash of old school and new school right here, right now, on Monday Night Raw. Even though one of these superstars is a champion, the belt won't be at stake, will it? I mean, this isn't an officially sanctioned title match. A big raw welcome to all our fans here in Phoenix, Arizona, and around the world. This is good old JR Tim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. This place is packed, JR. And I know these fans can't wait to see the raw superstars in action, and neither can I. I couldn't agree more, King. We certainly appreciate the support of these great Phoenix fans, and I personally guarantee that they're going to get more than their money's worth tonight. Yeah. You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar in the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is a subject which you happen to be Something of an authority. Isn't that right, King? Come on now, JR. A man doesn't know what true happiness is until he's married. And then it's too late. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR, but I guess it's their right. You're damn right it is. It comes with the price of admission. This is going beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If looks could kill, somebody would be loosening up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, JR. It sure does. But I guess both these superstars can settle their differences in the ring and leave it at that. A reversal. Can he capitalize on it? So, JR, are you enjoying the match so far? Yes, I am. I think these superstars, if there's a submission, there might not be any way out of it. There better be, but we're going to see a tap out right here. And it's been reversed. I think this crowd's giving these superstars a piece of their minds, King. Are you sure they can afford it, JR? Looks like they've slowed the match down a little. And I think that's some good strategy right there. It certainly is. I'm sure they're well acquainted with the old expression, fools rush in. Is that why you always seem to be in such a hurry, JR? I think I've eaten a little too much good Oklahoma barbecue in my day, King, to hurry anywhere. You know, JR, everyone go 
goes on and on about how great The Undertaker is. But I think he's overrated. It takes more than black lights and some dry ice to impress me. And how about going 14-0 at WrestleMania, King? I don't know where he thinks he's going. This could be a mistake. I think I know who's going to win this one, JR. Oh, really? Enlighten us, King. Wait a second. Why are you so eager to hear my prediction? Because I want to know who's going to win. And oh, no. The referee's been knocked out. This can't be good. Are you kidding? Now anything goes. He doesn't get any better than that, Jay. He just stole his opponent's finishing move. Talk about adding insult to injury, JR. The Undertaker's been in WWE for 13 years now, JR. And I think it's really... We could have a pinfall here, JR. Boy, when you look at these superstars... Here's your winner, The Undertaker. Champ, I just heard that my father's planning to set you up in some kind of handicap match tonight on SmackDown against two of his has-beens. But don't worry. Despite what he says, I found a SmackDown superstar who's willing to team up with you and make it a tag team match. And listen, I really appreciate you going along with this. I, I know that if we keep it up, we'll make my dad realize that the spotlight should be on WWE's present and not its past. All right, now listen to me, champ. I don't know who the hell you think you are, and I don't know what line my daughter Stephanie fed you to get you to go along with this scheme, but tonight, I want you at SmackDown, ready to compete in a handicap match against two of my hand-picked legends. If you don't have the proper respect for the legends who helped make this company great, by God, I'll see that they beat it into you tonight. Welcome to a sold-out show from the Great White North. Michael Cole and Taz coming to you tonight from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Hey, they speak French up here, right, Cole? Poly fou français! Ha <laughs> ha, amigo! Better stick to your version of English, Parker. No matter what language you speak, the actions of the SmackDown superstars will speak much louder than words. He dodged that bullet! Hey, look, I'm not the kind of guy that scares too easy, unlike you, Cole. But I gotta tell you, sometimes I get a little freaked out with this Cactus Jack. You're not the only one, partner. Cactus Jack is not an easy superstar to watch, and it's even harder to tear your eyes away from him. And there's the counter, Cole. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, Trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars, Taz. I don't think anything could be more obvious. Spoken like a guy who's never been in there, Cole. 
trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. I'll have to take your word for it, Taz. I honestly can't imagine a more electric atmosphere than the one in this arena right now. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars in the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. Here's the reversal, Cole. You're like a real jerk when somebody counted you like that. The thing you gotta remember about the Undertaker is that 50% of his style and his offense is about getting inside the head of his opponent. Oh man, this is just about the last hole you wanna find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. Bam Bam Bigelow has made a name for himself all over the world in just about every major sports entertainment organization there is. Yeah, well, let me tell you from experience, because when I was spent some time in ECW with Bam Bam, it wasn't hard to see why. He is flat out one of the toughest SOBs I've ever been living with. You can almost say that Bigelow was hardcore before there was such a thing as... There's the tag, Cole. He was one step ahead on that one. Ah! You know, Taz, I've met Nick Foley and I've met Cactus Jack. And even though they might share the same body, they are two completely different people. It sounds crazy, but I know exactly what you're talking about. He takes his partner. <laughs> wow, listen to that chant, Taz. I'll tell you what, if you've got the crowd on your side or against you, it makes a huge difference, believe me. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Taker's earned his rep, no doubt about it. He's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last ride. Oh, God. You could just feel the impact from here. There's a lot of the boys in the back. He could get the pin right here.
us live tonight from Oakland, California. I'm Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Law. I've never seen a hotter crowd, JR. These Oakland fans are completely out of control. This is going to be great. You're not wrong, King. The Bay Area's always been a hot spot for the superstars of Raw, and tonight is no exception. A textbook reversal there. These superstars are going to put each other to wrestling hell tonight. They've already... Whoops! There goes the referee! Oh, man! And now there's no one to keep order in this matchup. Wow! There's a hole you don't want to find yourself in, JR. You sure don't, King. We've seen many... Oh, no! The referee's been knocked out! This can't be good! Are you kidding? Now anything goes! It doesn't get any better than that, JR. Well, they paid for their tickets, King, and they've got a right to say whatever they want. And it's been reversed. Some guys stick with one company for their entire careers and make their name that way. But it seems like Bam Bam is always on the move, looking for the next fight. You might be right, King. He started in WWE, moved on to ECW, and then competed in WCW. There's no question, he is a dominant force in all three companies. Dominant isn't the word, JR. He broke superstars in half. You'd have to be crazy to get in the ring with a guy like Bill. What a counter! He turned the tables on his opponent with that one. My God, would you look at the power of this superstar? Here we go, Tombstone Pile Driver. He may get the three count here. One, two, three. I'll be honest, JR. Sometimes it's hard to watch that. He doesn't know the meaning of the word quit. Oh, well, probably a lot of other words. Yeah, like mercy or pity. And that's exactly what's made him into the hardcore legend he is today. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. That's a short time, but a potentially long fall. The referee is out, King. Will we see someone? I don't believe it. We might see a superstar get beat for their own finishing move here. He went straight for the pin. No flies on him. It looks like they've slowed the match down a little. And I think that's some good strategy right there. It certainly is. I'm sure they're well acquainted with the old expression, fools rush in. Is that why you always seem to be in such a hurry, JR? I think I've had a little too much good Oklahoma barbecue in my day, King. In a hurry anyway. Could be a pinfall. There's the kick out. I thought that was it for sure. I'm not sure I agree with what the crowd is chanting, JR. But I got it. And there's the submission. There might not be any way out of it. There better be. But we're going to see it. Here it comes. Here he goes. The Stone Cold Stunner. There's nothing like it in all of sports entertainment, JR. Don't tell me he's about to do what I think he's about to do. Tombstone Pile Driver! My God, what an impact! He's got his opponent in a pinning predicament. One, two, three. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. You know, JR, it's obvious that the only exercise you get is stretching the truth or jumping to conclusion. Well, judging from the shape I'm in, I don't appear to be doing too much of either, King. You're looking pretty fit, though, I must say. He 
is there any superstar in WWE who can go toe to toe with that man, The Undertaker? Oh, okay, there he is. Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? There's no way The Undertaker's gonna win this match. Just look at it. Oh, I am, King. I'm looking at one of the most awesome forces I've ever seen in a WWE ring. And I think the dead man's going to remind everyone tonight why they call him the Fiend. Oh my gosh, look at all that blood. That's gonna leave a mark. What a brutal match. The referee should step in there and stop this thing. What? Are you crazy? It's just getting good, JR. I think these superstars are getting some feedback from the crowd, JR. Nothing wrong with that, King. That's what we like to hear. It's like he read his opponent's mind. Champ, feeling a little tired, a little run down? Well, you haven't seen anything yet, my friend, because this Friday, you're going to be in a six-man elimination tag team match on SmackDown. I don't believe this. How could Mr. McMahon just hand SmackDown a huge match like that? Come on, JR. Mr. McMahon's the boss. He can do anything he wants. And then one week from tonight, you're going to put your championship title on the line against one of the true legends of this business and one of the greatest superstars of all time. I don't believe it, JR. Do you see what I've seen? I do indeed, King. It looks to me like Raw won't be outdone by SmackDown after all. Oh, and if that's not enough, your title match on Raw will take place inside a steel cage. Good luck, champ. Because you're gonna need it. The champion will put his title on the line against one of the greatest legends of all time. One week from tonight, here on Raw. yet enough excuse me but unlike you old man i'm just getting started uh oh i don't think mr mcmahon is gonna appreciate that very much how dare you come out here and disrespect your father like that you know stephanie you were always a petulant difficult child and i see that nothing's changed and nothing's changed with you either dad you're still stuck in the past, and you can't admit that the world has passed you by. Wow, this is getting serious even by McMahon standards. That's the problem with you kids today. You have no respect for the people who sacrifice so much to provide you with the things you take for granted. People like me, for instance. Well, since you failed to appreciate all I've done for you and for this business, by God, I'll start taking it back. Starting with your champion's title this Monday night on Raw. I made you, Stephanie, and I can break you. Oh, I've heard it all before. Let's see how your so-called legends do tonight in the six-man elimination tag team match you set up. I've got some Raw and SmackDown superstars who can't wait to get in the ring against your old-timers. Boy, these McMahons don't pull any punches, do they, Taz? No way, sister. I ain't never seen a family go after each other like the way they do.
a sold-out crowd tonight in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Michael Cole and Taz here, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Oh, man, I'll tell you, it's always great to be back in Philly. No doubt about that, Cole. You know, I got a little bit of history in this town. You know what I'm saying? The city of Brotherly Love might have been the hometown of ECW, but I think the SmackDown superstars are going to redefine extreme here tonight. Superstars on the up and up. That's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. You know what, Cole? You're gonna get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair. I swear to God, I'm gonna throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? The, the tag is made. These superstars have been going on all match. They got the tag. He saw that one coming. This has been a great match so far. I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. Randy Orton's a mouthy little punk, Cole, and that's exactly the kind of guy that super... I think someone's been taking flying lessons, Taz. It sounds like this capacity crowd has something on their minds, Taz. Yeah, and thousands of paying customers can't be wrong. And there's the counter, Cole. This is one heck of a match, so I've been locked in this hole before, and it hurts even worse than it looks. I can't even imagine the amount of pain that this hole must inflict on any superstar who winds up in it. What a counter that was! It's been a long time since I saw a crowd get behind a superstar the way they have with John Cena. Yeah, that's great, Cole. No doubt the WWE fans, they love John Cena. I get that. But this is not a popularity contest. It's a physical, athletic competition. I don't think Cena's got any problem with his physical either, Taz. There aren't many superstars who have accomplished what he has between those ropes. Let me tell you something right now. I've been in that ring with Bam Bam Bigelow, and that's about the last place you want to find yourself. Trust me. Bigelow has built his reputation on the broken bodies of his opponents. And he ain't done building yet, neither. He might add another one to that pile right here. And there's the submission hole. What a deadly maneuver this is. You're not kidding, Cole. Pressure being applied here. Oh man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are, and you know that's going to have an effect on this match. He's going for the submission, and he might get it. He's got the hook locked in. He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission, and this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience. Trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars, Taz. I don't think anything could be more obvious. Spoken like a guy who's never been in that hole. Trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. I'll have to take your word for it, Taz. I honestly can't imagine a more electric... There's the tag. Nice teamwork. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Taz, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Cole. Up. He was one step ahead on that one. Down. The referee's been knocked out. And this is where things start getting a little interesting. 
Interesting call. I can't deny that the legend killer Randy Orton had a pretty impressive career so far, Cole, but he better be careful that he don't burn out too quick. I don't think there's much of a chance of that, Taz. I haven't seen any indication. That tag shows some impressive teamwork. Dodge that bullet. I don't think there's a superstar in the history of WWE who's gotten the look of the WWE champion as quickly as John Cena has. Yeah, Cole, but you said it yourself. John Cena has shot up real quick. He ain't picked up the experience that a lot of other superstars have, and that can be a little bit of a problem for him. Well, from where I sit, I haven't seen a lot of superstars can see a much of a problem. He's held his own against some of the most talented veterans on the roster. That's the problem, Cole. You're calling it from where you sit. I've actually been in the ring, unlike you. And I'm saying back in my day, I would have loved to been in the ring with a kid as cocky as Cena, because I would have took him to school. A great many superstars have tried to do just that task, but Cena's still here. This isn't some wet behind the ears rookie. He's a WWE champion, and that's all the credentials you need in my book. Man, you just can't put anything over. And there's the reversal. <laughs> One of the things that's always impressed me about Bam Bam Bigelow is how agile he is for such a big man. That's something a lot of his opponents overlook. Bam Bam is very quick, as he is being very quick also for a gigantic man. inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool, and keep your, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man task. Surely you can't forget about that. Well, you see, that's the other 50%, Cole. Good luck with that. Uh-oh, you know what's coming next, Cole. Tombstone pile driver. How many superstars have fallen victim to that over the years? And there's the pin. No doubt, Cole, if your opponent lets you lock that in, it usually means that they ain't got much left. There's not a superstar in the locker room who can afford to ignore these fans, Cole. You're right about that. Without the fans, we'd all be out of a job. I don't know, Cole. I'm kind of unsure about Randy. He's had enough. This could be it. This is it. The last ride. Oh, God, you can just feel the impact from here. Can you believe this match so far, Cole? I really can't, Taz. This isn't anything like what I expected from these competitors. He could pin his opponent right here. And I can't tell you how impressed I am with what I've seen here tonight so far. How could you not be impressed, Taz? These are some of the greatest superstars in the world doing what they do best. Hey, slow down, girl pants. I went into this expecting a good match. I'm just saying it's even better than I thought it would. I know exactly what you mean. These superstars certainly are pulling out all the stops. Nice quick counter. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. No surprise there, Cole. The WWE fans ain't exactly known for keeping their opinions to themselves. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always has to happen. Sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I lock in the Taz mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you're developing a select on the mat. Shoulders down. One, this could be it. Two. You know what? This scene, he spends a lot of time running his mouth, Cole. If it was me, I'd put a little bit more energy into proving my in-ring skills. 
Seen as a WWE Champion tag, and it looks like he's bleeding. This is not going to help his chances. Well, that depends, Cole. I mean, some guys, they go a little nuts at the side of their own blood, and they become unstoppable. Well, that doesn't seem like a good strategy to me. I hope he ends this before he suffers a serious injury. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me too, and I do agree with what he's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. I he's going for the pin. One, two, three. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. You know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Taker's earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing that. But you gotta know when to call it a day, Cole. There's a fine line between legend and has been. I can't believe you can sit here and even imply that The Undertaker might be a has been. That could be hazardous to your health. Hey, Cole, we'll put words by now. The dead man has been on top of this business for a very long time. But the thing about being on top is there's nowhere to go but... Whoa! Talk about giving your opponent a little taste of his own medicine. Whoa! I think he's going for the pin, Cole. One, two, Here are your winners, The Undertaker, John Cena, and Randy Orton. Champ, it's Steph. You will not believe the monstrosity my father is having assembled in the ring tonight. When he said it would be a cage match, I didn't think... Well, you'll see for yourself. It's just another example of how out of touch he is with today's WWE. And you're gonna prove it tonight, when you beat his hand-picked legend and walk out of there with that title still around your waist. See you later. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to another sold-out Raw event from Portland, Oregon. Well, it's been too long since Raw has come to Portland, JR. These fans are going crazy! He reversed it! So, how do you think this one's gonna turn out, JR? 
Honestly, King, I have absolutely no idea. Anything can happen here in the WWE, but you've got to have a guess, right? I might, but I'd rather keep it to myself. It's all the same to you, King. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard to guess as to who's going to win this one. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Well, then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us, King? No way. I can already tell this is going to be a great match, and I don't want to ruin the ending for you. You're too kind, King. You're also full of horse manure, as far as I can tell. His opponent telegraphed that one. I think this crowd's giving these superstars a piece of their minds, King. Are you sure they can afford it, JR? Would you look at that? A blatantly illegal maneuver. That should be a disqualification. You might be right, JR, but I don't hear the ring bell. This match is still going. I tell you, King, sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. You gotta keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you come up with this stuff, but I don't think I want to know, quite frankly. Is there any superstar in WWE who can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that man, The Undertaker? I don't think there is. Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? There's no way The Undertaker's gonna win this match. Just look at him. Oh, I am, King. I'm looking at one of the most awesome forces I've ever seen in a WWE ring. And I think the dead man's going to remind everyone tonight why they call him the Phenom. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. They sure are, JR, and I love to hear it. This is a classic matchup, King. I'm so glad the WWE fans are getting the chance to see it. Yeah, I'm happy that I'm getting to see it too, JR. I just wish they'd pick up the pace a little. Oh no, this is class. Show off all you want, but it's not gonna win you the match. No, but getting the crowd behind you can certainly give you the edge. You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is a subject which you happen to be something of an authority. Isn't that right, King? Come on now, JR. A man doesn't know what true happiness is. It's tough to escape the cage if you keep getting smashed against it. A textbook reversal there. Look at that! He's bleeding like a stuck pig! Oh my god! That's his opponent's finisher! He just stole it! Well, you can't ever accuse the WWE fans of being shy about saying what's on their minds. You sure can, JR, and I don't think we'd have it any other way. The Undertaker's been in WWE for 13 years now, JR, and I think it's really starting to show here tonight. I don't know what match you're watching, King, but the dead man looks as good tonight as when he first appeared in the WWE. I'm not sure if it's your eyes or your brain that shot, JR, but that's ridiculous. The Undertaker should quit now while I can still retire with some dignity. You know, JR, everyone goes on and on about how great The Undertaker is. But I now that's what you call one for the books. The champion has retained his title in a great clash of old versus new, of classic versus contemporary. I can't believe some of the things he did in there. That's no way to treat a legend. Talk about having no respect. I couldn't disagree more, King.
I think the champion showed an enormous amount of respect for his challenger. Neither one went easy on the other. I don't know if they, they would have had it any other way. Well, we're going to have to agree to disagree. There's Stephanie McMahon, and she's got to be feeling pretty good. What the hell? Look, that's... that's... that's Rowdy Roddy Piper! I know who it is, King, but what the hell is he doing here? And what does he want with Stephanie McMahon? Someone's got to get back there right now! He's abducting the Billion Dollar Princess! Stop him! Mr. McMahon, I can't imagine what you must be feeling right now. Believe that. You're damn right you can't. I... I'll leave you to it. You! Well, I hope you're happy with yourself. I want you to know that I hold you personally responsible for my daughter's kidnapping. Me? Listen, man. No, you listen. All the showboating you've been doing, and not once did you stop to think of the consequences. Only one man has ever really been able to keep Roddy Piper in check, and you destroyed him in the main event Monday night. Vince, I had no you're idea. You're damn right you didn't. Now you're going to help me get my daughter back and undo the damage you've done, or so help me, Al. She's my only daughter. Please. I'm begging you as a father, help me get my little girl back. I'll, uh, I'll give you the night off to think about where you want to go from here. I'll, I'll expect to see you on Raw this coming Monday. That's all for now.
just heard that bastard Roddy Piper's been contacting the legends I control and trying to turn them against me. Well, it's time to show them that you don't screw with Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Roddy Piper was just sighted at a bar trying to convince Cactus Jack to join him. I want you to head over there and beat the hell out of them if you find them there.
believe this, but I just saw Roddy Piper on a security monitor talking to Bam Bam Bigelow in the parking lot. He didn't even try to stop the son of a bitch who kidnapped my daughter. Get down there right now and stop him by any means necessary. I've got some worthless security personnel to fire.
Listen up, I just heard that Ronnie Piper actually has the grapefruits to show up tonight on Raw. Obviously, we're going to have a little surprise waiting for him. I know that you and Hogan haven't always been on the best of terms, but he's always been able to keep Roddy Piper in line. So I'm going to cover my bets and have both of you ready to go after him when he comes to the ring. We'll call it a no-DQ handicap match so that no one goes to jail. But I want you to make that son of a bitch pay for what he's done to me. Welcome to Raw, coming to you from the land of the Razorbacks, Little Rock, Arkansas. Jim Ross here with Jerry the King Lawler. Little Rock can't wait to see the Raw superstars. This show's been sold out for weeks. These Little Rock fans know that Raw never disappoints, and tonight is no exception. I can't wait to get started. This capacity crowd is solidly behind their superstar. Look at this. Wow, could you be any more biased, JR? How about some fair and balanced commentary? He's a slippery devil. Three. You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is a subject which you happen to be something of an authority. Isn't that right, Ken? Come on now, JR. A man doesn't know what true happiness is until he's married. And then it's too late. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Remember, without these fans, these superstars are out of a job. My God, would you look at the power of this superstar? Here we go, Tombstone Pile Driver. Looks like he's trying for a pin here. has the potential to be an instant classic. And I think these fans are too stupid to realize it. How can you say that, King? How can you insult the intelligence of these W? The submission has been expertly applied, and now it's just a matter of time. That's right, JR. You either gotta break the hold or get broken by it. Is there any superstar in WWE who can go toe to He may get the three count here. It looks like he's had enough. Too bad for him his opponents don't agree. Look at this! Now, it's Stephanie now, McMahon! She's here! She's okay! What the hell? He's got to have a death wish or something! What in the Sam Hill's going on here? It looks like Stephanie McMahon is... is working with the man who kidnapped her! Mr. McMahon must be watching this! Why doesn't he do something?
It's a sold-out crowd tonight in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Michael Cole and Taz here, and what a show we've got for you tonight. Oh, man, I'll tell you, it's always great to be back in Philly. No doubt about that, Cole. You know I got a little bit of history in this town. You know what I'm saying. The city of brotherly love might have been the hometown of ECW, but I think the SmackDown superstars are going to redefine extreme here tonight. This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. One mistake, I wouldn't see that fire go out in front, though. Ladies and he's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd, though, Paul. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. That was a textbook ah. reversal. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in the WWE ring. They've taken the fight into the crowd, Taz. Yeah, these fans better watch out. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me? Oh, my God, what a chair shot. Yeah, and that don't tickle. Believe me, young lady. Man, his opponent looked like a punk with that counter. I knew it was only a matter of time before we saw that. I don't like it, but as long as it wins matches, it's going to keep happening. That's the bottom line, Cole. If you're not doing everything you can to win, then you're in the wrong game. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move for that, Come on, you just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to... Heads up! The crowd just got a main part of this one. Those fans had better be careful, Taz. These superstars are out of control. And the crowd has come alive tonight with a chant directed at the superstars of the ring. Yeah, and you can't let that break your focus. But that's easier said than done. Man, this, I'll tell you what, man. This one's just turned into a fight. Pure and simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I got it. He's putting that weapon to good use here. No doubt. As long as he's got that thing, he's in the driver's seat. Man, that's why foreign objects are a superstar's best friend. Well, I guess that depends on which end of the object you're on. I don't think there's ever been a more dominant superstar in WWE than the legendary dead man, The Undertaker. Yeah, but you can only stay on top of the mountain for so long. And the dead man's been there for a very, very long time. That might be true, Tex, but I don't see anyone on the horizon who could dethrone the Phenom. <clears throat> Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never could. I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Well, it's good for what he used it for, and that's all that really matters. Oh my god! Someone's gotta stop this! Don't start getting squeamish on me, Cole. Inflicting pain is the name of the game. I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. That's their right pass. They paid for their tickets after all. Man, what a chair shot. Reminds me of the old ECW days. If that's your idea of good old days, I'm glad I wasn't around for them. And it looks like he's... Stephanie's affiliation with Rowdy Rowdy Piper has come to an end. Well, these McMahons, they're, uh, what do you call, uh, fixed, you know. Uh-oh! Careful, champ. It's never a good idea to put your hands on the boss's daughter. I think Mr. 
Mr. McMahon wants the champ to let go of Stephanie. Well, somebody should have told Mr. McMahon to be careful what he wishes for. Because he just got it. I don't believe it. He just threw Stephanie McMahon out of her family's own ring. And the crowd loves it. That's a gutsy move for sure, Cole. But I ain't sure that's one of the smartest ones he could have made. He might have won this round, but if I know the McMahons, they ain't gonna let this one slide. Maybe not, Taz, but for tonight at least, the champ has beaten the McMahons at their own game.